We'll start with a moderator question and we'll go to some online and then we have national language questions for both of you. But um, congratulations and just uh, talk us through the, the match. It must be a massive thrill, despite everything going on, that you can all uh, leave Australia with this great trophy. Yeah, I think uh, today was one of our better match. Even though through the whole tournament we played uh, great tennis, uh, Every match was better and better, and final was just, I think, uh, one of our better better matches uh, through all this one and a half year as we are playing together, uh, and that's most important. You know, it's it's always uh, very satisfying, and um, we can be happy if we can produce great tennis uh, on most important matches like a Grand Slam final. So, yeah, uh, myself and. Uh, and Philip uh, must be happy and proud of this one. Thank you. We'll, thank you. we'll go to in the room. Philip, for, for you personally, uh, you retired from tennis uh, 2013 and had yep. five years away from the sport. So it, does this make the victory more special for you or more emotional because you were away for so long? Oh, I, I wouldn't say like it's uh, more emotional. I mean, it was nice when I come back. I mean, uh, straight away. I mean, pretty much year after my comeback, I play semi-final of Wimbledon. If that would end up uh, this way, probably we, that would be like uh, quite impossible. But uh, now it's like I get used to it. It helps me. I mean, it helps me also the last year experience from here the semi-final. And, uh, and other big matches we played and uh, I think uh, all those experiences we put together today and uh, we were able to play our best tennis uh, when it mattered most, which, uh, which is nice and that's, uh, that's by itself, it's uh, pretty satisfying, I have to say. Could you tell us what you did when, in the time that you were away from tennis? I was coaching, most likely kids uh, 8 to 13 because or 14. I, I had the problems with the back, then I, I couldn't really move or I couldn't play like the pro pro level or even as a, as a coach. Did you ever think that you may not come back onto the tour? Uh, yeah, I, I always thought. It's, it's, I, never, I never really tried to come back. It was, it was the accident, <laughs> I mean the nice one, but uh, yeah, I mean it, uh, it wasn't like... I was uh, I was mentioning to come back. It's it's just happened somehow. How, how did you come back? Did someone convince you to come back? Or? Yeah, the the friend of mine convinced me to play the like club matches in Germany, and then uh, I realized I I don't have that problems that I had before, and uh, also I mean uh, then uh, I hit with the Mike Bryan at the same time as as I was playing the club matches, and uh, he was like kind of making fun I should come back, and I, I was like no come on buddy. There's no way, and uh, then like it was few things like put together, and uh, I, I felt healthy. Then I said like, okay, I try, I try to come back, and uh, yeah, I mean I took a month off, like kind of uh, no, no no pay, no pay one month off, and uh, yeah, it turns uh, for another two two and a half years. It's from now. Any more in the room? I just wanted to ask you guys because Joe and Rajiv had an, uh, like an 11 or 12 match winning streak here at Melbourne Park. What was it about your combination? Sorry, your combination that um, was too strong for them today because they have such a good record here. Yeah, I mean we we knew last year they won here and uh, we know that they are playing great in Australia for their game. And I think the, the the surface this year is very fast and they are always very dangerous, especially on the faster surface. Um, but uh, we played against them, and we also knew that that we are playing, you know, good. And uh, um, the key, like I said, it was like uh, we ju just didn't give them any free points, you know. Like uh, uh, normally in doubles, uh, in this high level, w the team who makes more easy mistakes normally is losing. Uh, today, even from their side, there was not so many easy mistakes. It's just we was. Having better quality, I would say, on the return, we was uh, we didn't they didn't I think have any break point on our serve, so it was uh, it was our day I would say, and uh, things was much better going to other. Even though it was a good good match level, but uh, today we we just um, had it a great day, and things was going to our way.
could, Philip, can you tell us about your daughter? What what's the situation? Yeah, I mean, uh, the the fiance was pregnant, and uh, we didn't know like the originally the date was like the 19th of February, and uh, with the original date of Australia would be kind of nice setup like the Aussie usually end up like end of the January. Then we were like pretty much no worry, and then Aussie was postponing, and we didn't know what's going on. Then and once they decide, they go on and they move the weeks. We we were discussing that. I mean, uh, we had some discussions, but the, uh, I'm happy that uh, the fiance that the, she said like, okay, I, I can go, and uh, we, we we make the deal like she said, I, I will hold it up, and uh, if, you, if you if you make final, then you can miss it, and actually she holds <laughs> holds it together. I have to say, uh, absolutely up to that because we on Thursday we made through the final, and on Friday it came then. And uh, yeah, it's a second daughter. I mean, it's it's nice. I've been with the first one, at the the delivery. I mean, this one I missed it. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's quite sad. But I mean, uh, to to end it up this way here, it's uh, it's very nice. And uh, I'm also pleased. Like they are both healthy, and uh, I'm gonna see them soon. And where was it born? And have you seen it on 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 your Yeah, phone? I mean, I have the pictures and videos. That <laughs> the good good days. It's a good thing these days, like there, there is like uh, easy communication, and uh, it uh, it get born like uh, Australian time at midnight from Friday to Saturday. Then uh, that night I didn't have much sleep. I have to say, I mean, I was quite thrilled, and uh, yeah, I went to bed like at two uh, two a.m. and woke up at uh, six already. But uh, the good thing was that we had uh, another day extra, then I can sleep well before the match. Any more in the room before we go online? Okay, thank you. We'll move to online questions. First up, Ben Rothenberg, thanks. Congratulations, Philip Nivon, on your win. Uh, Philip, I guess for you, in terms of your coming back from the injuries you were having, the back problems, um, was there anything you had to do in order to, to you know, work on rehab or, or healing yourself, or was it just sort of with time that your, your body felt better? Yeah, I mean, at that time it was uh, it was more like the time and uh, the body kind of find it find itself. And uh, but after I I come back, I knew it. I mean, I I have to do it something for myself. And uh, since I started my comeback, I mean, I I was working uh, quite hard on the on the rehab stuff, and I'm still now. I mean, uh, the usually warming up routine. Now we cut it. Thankfully, a bit for like 20 minutes, but uh, at the beginning it was uh, 30 to 45 minutes, just the warming up routine before uh, before I step on I step on court. Then, uh, yeah, I I need to take care of. I mean, always after the long trips are like these ones. I need like a few days off to see the physio, but I mean uh, it's uh, it's not even close to to the problems what it was before, which I'm happy about it. And, and then also for you on the, in the match, you were hitting an incredible number of return winners, especially. I um, was wondering what you were seeing so well in their in their serves. If you were reading the serves well, or just was just feeling good today. Uh, I uh, I would say it was uh, it was a good feeling. I mean, uh, usually I'm uh, I'm the one who is more up and down. I mean, even it's uh, always putting uh, in our team the consistency, and he he always brings so many returns. Uh, always. Uh, he brings all the balls in, and he, he helps me a lot, and and he he gets me through the moments when the when I am not hitting great. But today I I, I pick it up from beginning, and uh, it was good. I mean, and I was just trying to to keep going as as long as possible. Thank you. Thank you. And next question, Thomas Lorak. Hi. Thanks. Congratulations, gentlemen. Lovely achievement. Even question to you. When you've won the Roland Garros uh, crown, the first one with Marcelo Melo, 2015, how did you keep believing that you can one day still be having another Grand Slam championship glory with a different partner? Yeah, but uh, I always believe I'm uh, playing doubles for the last 10 years and I'm one of the best uh, doubles players for many years. And uh, I know that I have level. Uh, the thing is, uh, through my career, I, I played singles mostly and was always combining with doubles, where doubles was not, in beginning, my priority. 
but once I decided to play uh, more doubles, of course, was not e easy to change. I knew that I have a good quality, which my results uh, always show through every year that uh, I'm one of the best. But uh, yeah, I needed to also the the. Um, to work on some things, you know, like many guys think that singles, good singles players can be also good doubles players, but uh, that's for me mistakes. Too. It's completely different tennis. You have to adjust the style of your game to the doubles and uh, try to improve things where you need more for doubles and uh, some things from the singles you cannot use on the doubles court. So yeah, and uh, I had it uh, always good results. Uh, uh, I didn't have in doubles grand slams, but in the meantime I won three mix doubles. Uh, I played uh, finals on grand slam, played for a lot of semifinals. You know, I just uh, just didn't make that final step. Uh, but I always believe I have that level, and um, when I start to to play with Philip, uh, first first grand slam we played semifinals and. Uh, I knew that we have good good chemistry. It's just a matter of time, you know. Like when we will uh, achieve uh, that, uh, we are great combination and uh, we are um, playing good tennis. And uh, I think this is the we have good good team around us, and this is the the great reward for for all of us. And uh, this should uh, also motivate us to to push even uh, for more. Even one more for you. Uh, you. Brother Mladen is with you in Melbourne, but the other brother, Zerko, is in Croatia. Was he on his feet watching you playing your final game with Philip? Yeah, yeah. We have early in the morning our final, and that they, they, they was all there um, early on the feet. You know, even my kids was uh, on the TV. Everybody was uh, watching, all the family that was supporting. And uh, uh, I'm happy that we deliver a great um, Great tennis, most important on the court, and uh, to win uh, the Grand Slam, it's 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 great for for me personally, for my family, for everybody, for all Croatia, the people who love the the sport and supporting us, and um, I'm uh, I'm really the happy the, the the way how we ended up this Grand Slam. Thank you. Thanks. We'll go back to Ben Rothenberg. Uh, Ivan, you were talking about the sort of the that different the skills are you need for doubles and I was seeing in, in the beginning of the draw in the first round like about half of the guys who were in the field were also in the singles tournament as well and then by the end in like the quarterfinals I think it was only air bear of the 16 last guys uh, who were in the tournament so w it seems like also on the rankings too there's less and less sort of overlap in the top of the doubles with the any sort of top 100 singles players so you think that doubles players are just getting better at sort of at the double side of the game to, to make that distance, or how do you how do you explain this uh, sort of increasing maybe separation between the the two two groups? Yeah, I, that's that's the, the key. I think uh, I have those experience where I was playing for many years singles, and and I knew when uh, when I played singles, I think on that on that moment while you are playing singles, you are still playing good good doubles if you if you like to play doubles because you have a quality you know but um, and you are I would say when you play singles you are not so much bothered with doubles so you don't have so much pressure you know when you are um, going to play doubles matches that's how I felt when I played singles because you always was feeling you know my singles is priority and doubles I play I always played full I never had the fun on court I always wanted to win but I had definitely less play pressure than when I played singles and then while when I switch to play doubles then everything is different because the the, the the thing is doubles improved a lot you can see in last five six years uh, we have so many coaches in doubles now every good team even top 50 guys they have uh, coaches in doubles they have fitness guys in doubles uh, doubles changed completely than uh, 10 years ago like when when I start to play uh, and you need you need uh, different skills than uh, than before, and that's why I think uh, the singles guys who are not playing uh, often doubles, I would say for them it's uh, kind of uh, not easy to to you know to win tournaments, to win big tournaments, and we we you can see those even uh, the. Top ten guys when they play some master series, you know, like they are, they have huge quality. They they, they are great, unbelievable players. They're uh, probably 
every of them is better player than doubles player, but that, that's not the point. The point is uh, they don't play doubles, and we know how how to escape the good good parts of the game, and we don't want to play what they want to play. So it, that that's the key, you know. And then you you will not see. Uh, so many singles guys uh, playing to the end of the tournaments very often and uh, but of course if they play consistency like Herbert is playing for for many years then uh, he will be always great player but this is not happening so much and then uh, one more actually if there's time for for Philip I, I think uh, Samdev Devarman I don't know if you remember the, the Indian player he tweeted um, it, after you won today, he said, "If you don't believe that dreams come true, just talk to Philip Palaszczuk." And I, I wonder, does this feel that way for you after everything you've been through? Does today feel? I know you're saying like it's, you've been on tour now for a few years, but does it still feel like a, a sort of magical moment for you getting this trophy? I mean, definitely. I mean, to get the to get the slime is always uh, the dream come true. I mean, uh, since uh, as as Ivan said, like uh, since we start playing together and after. I have to say the first uh, Wimbledon for me was uh, really like kind of the fairy tale, and uh, then after we won the Cincinnati title, and we kind of confirm it, uh, we we really is, uh, like we, we really are in that uh, group of the top doubles players. Since that, I pretty much starts believing like uh, we really can win the Slam, and uh, we did it everything for it. I mean, uh, it's uh, it's tougher when you. When you have that uh, kind of mark on you, like, uh, yeah, you want to win a slam. I mean, uh, especially in Slovakia, we we never had the, the male who who would win any slam in the, any competition. I mean, this is, I'm the first male of uh, winning the slam, which uh, which was even more pressuring. I mean, uh, the guys were asking me almost every after single, like, grand slams if uh, how it was. and everything then uh, yeah i mean definitely it's a great great a achievement i'm uh, i'm so proud of it and uh, yeah but uh, we we don't want to st uh, stay on one i mean uh, we now try to push and uh, to to get even more